Hello ladies, welcome back to the 10th video in the series Bee Journal Craft with me. And this time I'm making the cover front. I've already finished this cover with the beautiful green and white material. That's a cover all and now I'm just going to do the picture on the front. And I had two ideas for this, and as I'm making at least two of these bee journals, I'll probably use them both. My first idea was to use this lovely die cut. I've put it into plastic to keep it safe and stop it getting caught on things. And although I don't like plastic, and I'm sure you don't either, it does have its uses. And if you can use it more than once, that's even better, isn't it? So if I was to stick that on there like so, that's protected. You can touch it without damaging the die cut. And you can add pieces of lace or whatever you want around the edges. Although I have to say that my real preference for the cover picture is something quite plain because if you put it on a shelf next to other journals or books you really don't want bits sticking out and sticking up that are going to get knocked off and damaged so if it was just for me I'd probably just go with this and something simple I've run out of the ornate book plates uh, you know the the nice sort of bronzy looking metal ones i've run out of those for the moment and they seem to be out of stock i think it's ranger that does those uh, and so it's okay to just use a piece of cloth you could embroider b on it or something but that was my first idea and at least one of the other journals will be having that on the cover but for this one make it interesting. I have got some hessian. Make that as small as possible because I don't like covering up the pretty material. I've got some sunflowers. I have a little bee booklet so upside down which and um, with some pollen balls on the side. Inside there are some little pretty bits, and so I'm going to put that on there, that on there, and then I'm going to finish it with the two other elements, one of which is a bee, sewn bee. So I'm going to now stick the hessian on. Getting a bit low in the bottle now. That be enough. And that will stick nicely on there because it's fabric to fabric. And if you remember back to when I was doing this cover, there is wadding inside there. Not too thick, but just enough to make it very tactile. It's lovely to touch and hold. Now this is the tricky bit, putting these on. And 
I'm wondering, and this is an experiment, <laughs> if I can poke it through the hessian a little bit and just anchor it. Yeah, that one worked. This is wire, see? stick with the one these lovely sunflowers twist it around a bit and catch the light you can see when you've got everything I've really enjoyed doing these sessions with you and I can't believe we're on to number 10 already. He looks good in this light. I wonder if that'll come out well on the on the video. But his wings or her wings look very, very bright, like almost luminescent. decided to make these sunflowers stick down a bit more by using some hot glue. Which will keep them there a bit longer. I have to work fast because the lead on the glue gun doesn't reach the switch properly. So while it's still hot, get it done. Very pretty, aren't they? These little sunflowers. And I think I got about six in the pack. They'd be good on tags, wouldn't they? Because they're the right size. In the glue gun, if you put this glue stick 
in the back there then when you heat it up it becomes liquid and you can work with it so there we are they're stuck down now I've made a little B label for the bottom here. It's a bit obvious what it's about, isn't it? <laughs> um, I didn't show you inside this folder, I don't think, did I? It's just a little folder with a couple of pockets and things. Bee on flower. Depends whether you want an upside down bee or a right side up bee, doesn't it? And this is bee paper. This little pocket in the middle has a picture of lots of different bees and a little rose and a butterfly. And on this side, there's just a little belly band made from music tape and some pretty paper and the notes. So that's the cover done. Now that I've done the cover, I'm going to have to be very careful that I don't damage it while I finish off the journal because in my next video I shall be going through the journal to see if I can improve on it at all and um, add a few other bits maybe. So that's the front, that's the spine, that's the front and that's the back. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series and I hope that you're making a bee journal too so that I can enjoy looking at yours. Let me know in the comments if you are making a bee journal or in the discussion feed back in the pen pal group. And so until the next time I'll say bye bye. See you again soon.